students in this session we are going to see about ohms law so as in the previous sessions we saw that the for the conductors the free electrons are in random motion when the same conductors are connected with the battery so what will happen the free electrons are drift to move towards the positive terminal of the battery due to the electrostatic attraction between the positive and negative electrons the current will flow in the external circuit from positive to negative terminal of the battery now we are going to see that what happens when the voltage the battery value is changed what about the changing current by using this simple circuit we are going to change the voltage and we are going to note down what is a ammeter reading that is a current variations so this circuit contains four cells all the four cells are connected in series and these cells are connected with the nichrome wire and the ammeter is also connected in series along with the key and the circuit will be closed note on that the voltmeter is connected in parallel that means across the nichrome wire now we are going to introduce the one by one cells that means initially one cell will be connected to this circuit note on the the current value that means ammeter value then the two cells will be connected note down the ammeter reading and also third cells fourth cells and correspondingly the ammeter variation that is a current reading variations we are going to observe that and we, finally we come to the conclusion what is the relation between the voltage variation of voltage with the current in this circuit this table clearly shows that what happens when the number of cells connected in the circuit is increased and their corresponding change in voltmeter and ammeter reading that means when one cell is connected the voltage is 1 volt two cells are connected that means it is a two voltage and three cell is connected three voltage and four cell is connected it is four voltage whenever there is a increase in potential difference when the voltage applied voltage is increased correspondingly the current value ammeter reading also increases proportionally so if you plot the graph between the voltage and current so this graph shows that that graph is a linear that is when the voltage value and the current value are proportionally changes this shows that the potential difference is directly proportional to the current flows through the circuit as voltage is directly proportional to the current so whenever we remove the proportionality so we have to put a constant value that is the v is a potential difference and it is equal to the constant into the current value i if you bring this i to the denominator v is equal v by i is equal to constant that constant is resistance hence we can write that ohm's law is ohm's law equation is v is equal to ir where v is equal to potential difference i is a current and r is a resistance whenever there is a change in uh, potential if you increase the potential value or the change the potential difference value there will be change in current value that the current value will increase depends upon the resistance of the wire the statement of the ohms law is the electric current i the flows electric current i flowing through a metallic wire is directly proportional to the potential difference that is voltage and the current are directly pro proportional so the potential difference across its ends the in this experiment it is very very important the whole in this whole experiment the temperature has to be remain constant or same temperature when the temperature is uh, varies so there will be a change in resistance of the wire when the resistance changes the current value is also correspondingly changes the si unit of resistance is ohm the symbol of the ohm is like this so one, one define one ohm means one ohm is defined as the ratio of 1 volt by 1 ampere so from this experiment we see that the resistance and the current are inversely proportional what is current the current is rate of flow of charge so the resistance and the current are inversely proportional means when the resistance increases the current value decreases the current value decreases means how the current will be decreases whenever there is a disturbance in the 
flow of charge hence i will uh, we will define the resistance as it is a property of a conductor which will resist the flow of charge so it is a property of the wire we will not avoid the resistance of the wire so whenever there is a wire definitely there will be a resistance yes now we are going to see that how the resistance property arises in a material so we are all know that when a conductor is connected to the battery the free electrons are drifted to move towards the positive terminal of the battery and hence the current will flow from positive to negative terminal of the battery in a external circuit let us consider a one a free electron the path of this free electron is this dotted line only but in addition to this free electrons there is a positive ions also present in the material what is this positive ion uh, initially this uh, this is a neutral atom this neutral atom has a valence orbit then the valence orbit electrons are ejected out and that electron will is called as a free electron hence this atom will become a ion so you you should recall the first session uh, electric current so now you see that the free electrons will be attracted by this positive terminal of the battery so it starts moving from here so due to the force of attraction between the positive and negative charge this is the positive ion and the negative charge so the electron will attracted towards in the path will be moving like this but the force of attraction of the battery is more than that of this ion so the electron starts to move to the original position again if there is another ion so the path will be diffused again it will goes again the path will be diffused and goes so if there is a no ions are present means what will happen the electrons will straight away move like this and it will be reaches the positive terminal of the battery and hence the current will flow here due to this retardation the path of the electron will be retarded by this electrostatic attraction of the ion and the electron this property is called as a resistance this is a property of the material which resists the flow of electron this will not be avoidable students may ask one question sir there may be a more free electrons are there if that uh, if the, these free electrons may collide with the ions yes definitely these free electrons will collide with the ions even the collision of the two free electrons also occurs hence we will redefine that the property of the resistance is due to collision of the free electrons or the free electron with the ions or the electrostatic attraction of the ion and the free electrons so students you understand that what is that the flow of free electrons is called as a current the uh, the motion of the free electrons is slow down retarded by the property what is this property it is naturally occurs that means the ions will be uh, present in the atom material so it will be attracted the path will be varied also the collision of the free electrons hence the resistance arises based on the resistance also we can classify the material so those material which has a very low resistance is called as a good conductor those material which has a high resistance is called as a poor conductor that means in poor conductors that is in in insulators there is a no flow of current that is a no flow of free electrons if there is a more uh, resistance are available high resistance are available in that material so there is a no possibility of flow of free electrons hence that material it does not allow the current to pass through it so it is called as a insulators for your conductors the flow of current is more because it has a very low resistance so in this chapter here after we are uh, often using these terms so what is a resistor a yeah. any any conductor which having a some value of resistance is called as a resistor the symbol of the resistor is this one you have to put a zigzag line like this the two dotted lines means in these two points only it will be connected with the circuit so this is a, there is a some other devices in practical in laboratory we are going to use to vary the resistance in the circuit so this is a variable resistor symbol that means it is like a box so we will vary the resistance 
resistance value that is altering the resistance value so this is a symbol of the rheostat so the rheostat also used to vary the resistance in a circuit so both are same both are same now this is a simple circuit which represents that the resistor the voltmeter is always uh, connected across the resistor the ammeter is connected in series that is voltmeter in parallel and ammeter in series it is connected with the battery this is a key when there is a no dot in this key this is called as open circuit open circuit means <coughs> it is a off state so if you put any dot line here so this is a dot if you put means that means the key is connected it is closed so closed means on closed means on open means it is a off so the students are always confused with this open means it is uh, connected closed means it is uh, switch off so don't be confused if the key is closed means it is on state if the key is open means off state so this is a symbol of the real start you should see that the i will put a dot here so the dot is here and here never here so you should connect the two terminals the two terminals of the real start is this point and this point so you should connect the real start this is the one end another end is this one dear students i will recall the uh, what are the things we learn now so what is ohm's law the ohm's law equation is v is equal to ir that is v is directly proportional to current voltage is directly proportional to current the proportionality is depends upon the resistance of the wire so what is resistance the resistance is a property of the wire which which is used to resist the flow of charges how the charges are uh, movement of the charges are uh, resisted that means slow down because of the electrostatic attraction between the ions present in the material and the free electrons the free electrons path will be disturbed so the free electron speed will be reduced the free electrons will slow uh, motion will be slow down by this presence of three ions also the collision between the two free electrons and hence we come to the conclusion the resistance is inversely proportional to current so whenever there is a high resistance in the material the current will not flow the resistance is very low means the current will flow that is a low resistance material is called as a good conductor high resistance material is called as a poor conductor or insulator now we are going to conclude this session by giving the answer as in the previous sections i told that why the ammeter always connected in series and the voltmeter always connected in parallel so as in the first session itself i mentioned that the ammeter is a low resistance device this is a simple circuit which has a bulb and the battery is uh, connected if the key is on what will happen the bulb will glow so if the ammeter is a device used to measure the current it will does not affect the flow of current in the circuit because it has a very low resistance in a, uh, any device which has a very low resistance the current path the current motion will not be disturbed let us assume that this uh, ammeter is connected in parallel with the bulb what will happen the current will be flowing in this direction at this position so the current finds a two path so one path is a bulb another path is a uh, ammeter so the bulb has a some resistance or so the current will always flows through the low resistance path so compared to this bulb the ammeter is a very very low resistance so the uh, battery current the current flowing in the circuit will all the current will flows through the ammeter and it will be ends here so there is a no sufficient or no current will not flows through the bulb hence the ammeter will uh, should not be connected in parallel so remember one more uh, one more time i will say that so the ammeter is a low resistance hence it is connected in series only if it is connected in parallel the current will flows through the ammeter the current will not goes into the bulb hence the bulb will not 
glow or the bulb will get only very very low current in similar case for the voltmeter also if the voltmeter has a very high resistance it is a high resistance device similar to the ammeter the ammeter is a low resistance device the voltmeter is a high resistance device so the high resistance device always connected in parallel what is the purpose of the voltmeter it is used to measure the voltage what is the voltage across this bulb so the current flowing in this direction so at this point what it has a two path so one path is a bulb another path is a voltmeter so similarly the bulb has a some resistance r so always this voltmeter reading is uh, resistance is a infinity that is a very very high value so the current find the very low resistance path compared to the voltmeter uh, resistance the bulb resistance is very low the current flows through the bulb and it will be installed and hence the bulb will glow and also we are measure the potential difference across this bulb if we connect this uh, voltmeter in series what will happen the voltmeter is a high resistance device high resistance device so what will happen the resistance coming in this path so what will happen the all the current will be dissipated as a heat so no sufficient current will flow uh, on the other side of the voltmeter hence the bulb will not glow or the bulb will get only a very 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 low current so students and uh, you are understood that so the, always ammeter should be connected in series and the voltmeter should be connected in parallel in examination they will ask that why the ammeter is connected in series you write very simply hence the ammeter since the ammeter has a very low resistance it should be connected in series uh, since the voltmeter is uh, high resistance it should be connected in parallel only the one word line so you can use this circuit to explain your concept so in this session we are clearly seen that ohms law and the resistance cause for the resistance and the, the devices and uh, some of the devices used in the circuit 